I've been 3D printing for almost 10 years, which means I've also been fixing and troubleshooting 3D printers for 10 years. Most of my prints are practical, like fixing things the kids and I break, and we break a lot of stuff. When I picked up the Bamboo Lab H2D from Micro Center, there weren't many real world reviews. So yes, I felt a little cavalier in purchasing it, but I wanted the capabilities that this printer promised. I've been using it almost daily now for two months, and this is my honest review for you folks that are brand new to 3D printers, and also you pros who are looking to add another printer to the lineup. It's a review from someone who treats 3D printers like any other tool in their shop. So first, general impressions. The biggest win, starting a print is crazy easy. On my old printers, I had to open a laptop, slice the model, calibrate it, make sure the nozzle was clean, make sure it leveled the bed correctly, and then I had to watch the first layer like it was my toddler near a power outlet. It was time consuming and necessary for every print. With the H2D, I am comfortable starting a remote print and I'm confident when I return to the printer, it's going to be a success. Next, it's whisper quiet. I don't advocate for having printers in your living space, but this printer is quiet enough that you could sleep next to it. How quiet? Let's just say I can print in the middle of the night without my wife waking me up concerned that someone is in the basement. Next, we can't avoid the price tag issue, but look at it from this perspective. I used to bolt things like mini PCs, cameras, custom enclosures, high temperature nozzles, heating fans, you name it, the H2D already has this stuff built in. So that price tag suddenly not so bad when you add up all the upgrades. Next up, a critical thing for 3D printers. The filament needs to be dry or you get terrible prints. The automatic material system sits on top of the H2D and has a built-in filament dryer, in addition to its ability to automatically feed your filament into the printer. You don't have to buy additional filament drying solutions because of this. Next up, the nozzle change is tool-free and wicked fast. You change the nozzle to improve print speed or quality of prints. Printing a giant trash can, use a large nozzle. Printing a tiny PCB board, use a small nozzle. I mean, this is crazy. It would take me 30 minutes to swap out a nozzle on some of my other printers. I always thought this was silly. It doesn't take 30 minutes to replace my drill bit. Instead of fidgeting with my printer, I get to focus on designing things to print on it. Top three reasons this printer is for beginners. First, for new 3D printer enthusiasts, you'll quickly learn that the first layer is critical to get right. Otherwise, your entire print will have all sorts of issues. I've owned printers that were supposed to automatically do this for me, but all ended up being unreliable. This one has got the first layer right every single time. Number two, you don't have to know what a slicer is to get started. Slicers have a steep learning curve, and often that's what turns people off from 3D printing. You can learn and use a slicer with the 3D printer, but it's not needed out of the box. Number three, if you use bamboo filament, which is actually reasonably priced, the printer reads it, loads it, puts the right settings in, and you're just ready to go. Okay, so I'm not leaving out you pro users. So three reasons this printer is for advanced users. Number one, the enclosure massively boosts print success of exotic materials, especially in less than ideal environments like a cold basement. If you like to print strong parts and with materials that don't melt in the sun, there are only a handful of off-the-shelf printers that can reliably do so. Number two, dual extruder printers are not new. Dual extruder printers with the high temperature capabilities of the H2D is pretty rare. For me, dual extruders mean dual material prints. My most common use for this is breakaway supports. My dream has always been to be able to print without having a part that looks printed or a part that needs any finishing to be ready to use. Example, I lose and break my sunglasses all the time. I modeled up a pair of frames in Fusion 360. 
Now whenever I lose them or break them, I can print those frames off and I'm good to go. Number three, efficiency. You just don't have to baby the printer. The less time spent on tasks that don't bring value is more time allowing you to do the things that you like to do. There are some folks where this printer does not make sense. If all you print is PLA and that's all you plan to print, the printer is overkill, period. If you live in a small apartment, the printer's big. It's particularly tall. Footprint, not so much. It's not much larger than my Lulzbot mini printer, but you definitely would need a sturdy table to sit it on. If your budget's tight, there are cheaper options to get started. I caution though that if you are thinking you are going to upgrade many starter printers to get to this capability, it may cost you more in the long run. Final thoughts. The Bamboo Lab H2D feels like it's made for people who are tired of babying their machines and just want to make stuff. If you want a printer that just works and value your time and sanity, it's hard to beat the H2D. It's getting close to being as easy as an inkjet printer to operate. Is it perfect? No, but I haven't seen a failed print yet. If you have any questions about the printer that you'd like me to try and answer, make sure you post them in the chat. Thanks for watching.